Hey everybody, welcome back to Monster Mates, you degenerates. Yes, welcome to the fourth episode of season three of Monster Mates. Spencer, please choose a number between one and 98. 20. 20. Bunny girls. Yeah, let's go. All right, this one for you boys. Hell yeah, bunny girls. Yes. Yes, yes, like yes. The popular, All right, I'm giving this like a nine. Much like the popular... My Hero Academia character from what? season five? Oh, I haven't. I, I have. I've been reading the manga and I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, well, you should have. Oh, wait, I know. You gotten I that know far. the character. Yeah, I've you, seen the fan art. I've, we've se all I've seen, seen the, the doujins. Yes, we all. They're have. really good. Yeah, they are. Um, hold on. I'm trying to find. <laughs> I didn't write. I didn't write down what particular name this was. What do you mean? Just type in Bunny Girl MGE. I, I did, but I'm trying to find the Wikipedia thing, and I didn't write down the Wikipedia well, article. You do that, tell, while, you, while you do that, tell us what you would rate a Bunny Girl. All right, I'm going to rate a Bunny Girl probably a 9. Um, all I hear is breed. Yeah, pretty much. That's <laughs> I'm going to be I honest. Uh, and I'm down. I'm, I'm freaking down for this shit. Uh, like, like, bunnies of all colors. Like, I don't think anyone's going to be fight us on Bunny Girls. That's why bunny girl outfits are, like, the best. Yes. <laughs> like, I was talking to my friend. And she, I'm like, oh, man, I love this. And she's like, is it a bunny girl outfit? I was like, no, it's not. Why do you think I would even said that? And she goes, because I know you like bunny girl outfits. And I'm like, don't call me out. Here we go. I found it. It was Were Rabbit. Were Rabbit. Oh, That okay, was bunny. the name of it on the Wikipedia. All right, well, it was bunny girls. All right, I'm not a big fan of the artwork, but it's the but, general idea. Yes. I'm going to see what the... There was another one, but that's probably a different thing. And yeah, that's not that's not much better. They're basically the same thing anyway. <laughs> All, right. All right. So tell us what it is, Trevor. All right. <clears throat> half human, half beast monsters having the characteristics of rabbits, the majority of which inhabit meadows. They are docile compared to other werebeasts and are friendly towards humans. They tend to be cheerful and extremely curious. Perhaps for that reason, they are restless and spend much of their time running and jumping to and fro. Although I have noted that they are rel uh, relatively docile and friendly to humans, that doesn't at all mean they aren't dangerous. Unlike most werebeasts, they have no fixed fertile time. Rather, their mating season is year-long. A were-rabbit will greet any man she encounters if the traveler returns the greeting in a friendly matter, or manner. She may take a liking to him, at which point the impatient were-rabbit will push him to the ground and take him on the spot. Contrary to their personality and appearance, sex with them is extremely furious. Even when uh -oh. on top of a man, they shake their hips like a rabbit hopping around and indulge uh -oh. in the pleasure. If one were to attempt to escape from a were-rabbit in heat, it would be difficult since they swiftly hop around the plains with their powerful legs. Although the veracity of this is uncertain, it is said that they hate being alone so much that they can even die from loneliness. What? They desire to always be close to the man they've taken a liking to, and they'll move their body intimately close and fond on him, seeking sex, which allows them to be as close as possible to him. For them, the happiest time is definitely when they're joined with a man becoming one. This is purely a rumor, but if you follow a were-rabbit without being noticed when she is hopping around aimlessly, it is said that sometimes <sighs> you will arrive at her at a place uh, called Wonderland along oh with her. God. That place is said to be a bizarre dimension where the monsters are constantly in heat like were-rabbits and, and want to have sex with men like crazy. This was the other variant, by the way. I was a marching here. Anyways, um, however, as of the present, no one has ever returned from that place, so it's uncertain whether it really exists. Although, or also, should someone try to follow a were-rabbit, in most cases, he would be noticed since their big ears have excellent hearing, and she would head straight towards him and attack. All right. <laughs> they die from loneliness? They can straight up die from loneliness if you have given them that sweet, sweet love. Bro. I don't, like, that's a lot of pressure. You're like, hey, I'm not really feeling it. Just next morning, just corpse. Yeah. That's, I, oh. That's a lot of pre <laughs> pressure. That's a lot of pressure, man. Uh. I I'm not a fan of that. I like I, I like 
I like the heat. But like, I hope you have. And a they're great hopping night. up and down on my dick like a bunny. Like that. That's how your dick breaks. That's how it breaks. I mean, I'm trying to think. I've heard it. horror stories, man. Yeah, I know, and trust me, I have too. Um, the only equivalent I can think of is that you know how how. I was about to say how girls do, but, like, how a lot of people working out will do squats to get a better butt and all that and yeah. work on their legs. I imagine it is basically that, but the end point is on your on your penis and just doing that at a rapid speed. Okay, so not literally hopping up and down. Not literally ha- hopping, but doing, like, super fast squats right right to the hilt. Okay, okay. then I'm okay with that. If anything, that, that just, I'd, it'd probably be a little too much for me. I'd be like, oh, God. <laughs> this is, these sensations are too much at once. Why are you so fast? Ah. Oh, goodness. But um, definitely brothel. Yeah, 100%. This, this is definitely a brothel. Yeah, because with the with the you know pressure of loneliness, of literal death of loneliness, um, brothel there there's usually like no stop of customers, what, that what, sort of thing. What do I get the feeling like bunny brothels are more like they get pregnant from their customers and then they give birth to those kids so quick that then they become the next bunny brothel. You know what I mean? Yeah, that could be interesting. So, it breeds so much that it's just constant, like, recycling. Yeah. Hey, you know what they say? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Just take out the reduce and you have a good little thing going there. Reuse, recycle. I almost forgot the reduce part in that whole thing. I grew up in that, I grew up in that era where we both did. That yeah, we constantly like, heard those commercials and that dumb song so much. I don't even know what you're talking about. Reduce, reuse, recycle. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my goodness, you're lucky then. All right. <sighs> so, as a whole, Bunny Girls is... So, are we going off of the picture? So, the picture is literally, like, the lower half is just bunny as hell. And then the other half is, like, just the ears. But I've seen, obviously, like, say... Where, like, normal everything except for ears, maybe the hands and legs are different, and then you have the bunny tail. Whereas this is straight up, like, your fucking bunny parts. Yeah, whereas in usual depictions, it is more of a, a, uh, what's it, playboy bunny, like, yeah. actual playboy bunny that, that's style. That's what I'm into. I want the playboy bunny. Yeah, well, I don't know about you, but I, I kind of like the reverse Playboy Bunny thing. A oh, lot. where their head is the rabbit, and you're fucking. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's anyway. like the reverse mermaid. No. Anyways, no. No. It's a reverse rabbit where it's just everything's oh, normal except for their beady eye. Please, please no. <laughs> no, that would be an immediate one. But no. Anyways, um. Yes, they would constantly want to be bred. So there there's no there is no lack of bunny brothels, I would imagine. I would say there would be one in like almost every town you would visit would have a bunny brothel. Because literally they're so they're, rampant. They're just horny forever. All the time. Yeah, they're horny forever because they bunnies breed, man. That's how the, that's how they work and that's how what they do. Yes. So literally, if your thing, I bet that's like a specific thing. If your thing is no, if you want, if you want to go to a brothel and just in in preg a girl and then leave and never talk to them again, go to a bunny brothel. No alimony, baby. No alimony. Um, what child that? support? What's that? I don't know, uh, but I am paying it. But if you want to get a good sex workout as well, really, you know, tune your tongue, your and your fingers. To see how you can how well you can do because i'm sure where rabbits would be very receptive to both of those as well yeah, absolutely um then i say go right for it i know i would do, definitely do this as a cardio workout like every day every day yes like but like i feel like if you have if if bunny brothels are super popular i feel like uh you'd have like a, a stamp you know like a little punch out card oh yep yeah. mm-hmm. 12th one's free Twelfth one's free, or or tenth one, uh, you get a fifty percent off, double up. Oh, you can do- ooh, 
T- double oh, bunny. Oh, that would that would be that'd be a little that'd be interesting because not I would imagine having to deal with one would already be a trying task. But dealing with two at the same time would just be interesting because they would both be fighting to see who gets the seed. <laughs> Why am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> this is the way you word it. To get the C. Well, am I wrong? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, so, okay, if we say you, rather than going to a brothel, say you wanted one, you owned uh-huh. one, right? Yes. When, like, do you, is it, we've talked about this before, is this your wife one, or is this, like, the side one? Uh, th- well, it would have to be the main one. It would have to be your wife because they die of loneliness. Well, I mean, then your pets don't die of loneliness. Well, yeah, but still. You still give your pets love and attention. Considering how horny they get all the time, I feel like whatever wife you did have, like, that would... I feel like she would get super jealous by the bunny girl. Probably. So... She would have to be your main girl. Uh, I, I, I'm saying his Playboy Bunny's got it, got it right. Reverse Playboy Bunny outfits, Arkino. I, I have to, hold on, I'm going to look that up. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't see any on Twitter. I, I know I retweeted a couple of them. Back I'm, when... Here's like, I'm sure I've heard of it, you know what I mean? Yeah, you just need I'm to sure I've seen see it. I'm sure I've seen it, I just, like, yeah. Yeah, you just need a reminder. Oh, those things. Yeah, reverse Playboy bunny outfit. So basically, it's just like it's missing every, every. It's like, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yep. Although I, I typed like... it in, and apparently mostly guys wear it. Yeah, some can. Yeah, I'm surprised you got a lot of yaoi. I'm I I got like a couple of yaoi pictures, and that's it. But still, I, mean, I got a lot of like anime ones, but you know. Well, yeah, of course. But like. <laughs> But, like, when we're talking about bunny girls, I want, like, the Playboy bunny ones, you know? I want the I want the, the suit. I want yeah, the... the and, yeah. And that's fair. And I would want the suit in the reverse order. <laughs> Why reverse? Like, what's, what's I wrong don't with know. the... I don't know. What's wrong with bunny? What's the, wrong with the, the normal bunny girl outfit? I guess it's just because I've seen so much of it that I'm just like, yeah, I want to see all the bits but have everything else be covered up. It's just, it's I don't ever- know. Listen, bunny that... girl like this is evergreen content. Yeah, for sure. But still, I'm just like, okay, if you were, if you just, you know, if you reverse all that, expose the private bits and have everything else covered. I don't know. There's something sexy to that. I I can see it if like say you're you you're super used to it and you're like, let's try something different. Yeah. <laughs> I I get you. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. I, I but like definitely if you're going to go do this you're going to go to a brothel. Yeah, unless <laughs> unless you just want to have a constant life of having either your tongue, your fingers or your slong being used at all times. Their disposition cheerful, impatient, lonely. Yeah. I don't want to deal with that, man. That's fair. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I have a strong libido. But even I have my limits. All right, we also, before we end this, we have to talk uh-huh. about the sex dimension. Do we have to? I... Because it says in the thing, this is purely a rumor. But what if it's true, though? Uh, well, I mean, we've already talked about one Wonderland creature, the Dormouse. That's true. Uh, but, like, if you were to see, a, like, a sex dimension, I don't think I want to go in there. I don't know. Eh, I, w- I would do it. Uh, but you can't leave. Well, if I can't leave, then uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm still going. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm sustaining on something over here. Yeah, something's going to sustain me, so I might as well go. Whether, I mean, I can get my I can get my uh, liquid from uh, various <laughs> sources. I, I hope you like uh, a roasted bunny, because that's the only meat they got. Mmm... No, I'm sure I could find some good protein. Too. Good dormouse. No. <laughs> but I'm sure I could find some good sources of protein oh, in, God. In, the, in the dimension. God damn it. What? <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> anyway, what would you rate a uh, bunny girl? And tell us why. Would you have the normal bunny girl outfit, or would you have the reverse bunny girl outfit? Would you keep her as a uh, as a main girl, or would you just do a pump and dump at a brothel? Any pump but and dump. Nonetheless, be sure uh, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to give it a like. If you want to see more of this content, then consider subscribing. And be sure to check out the amazing artists who did the uh, who did the uh, thumbnail for this episode. And if you want updates on the show, feel free to follow us over on Twitter. Thank you so much for listening. Although I did just, before I say goodbye forever, I totally yes. forgot to mention something. Uh-huh. I would be scared to go to the same brothel multiple times. Because you may end up fucking your daughter. All right, everybody. What? Thank you so much for listening. I wasn't going to bring that up, but I'm glad you did at least. <laughs> That's a, That waits off me now, but be sure it's to stay tuned me. for the next episode. Bye.